So we're given some parametric equations and we have to find dy dx. So first recall the formula for dy dx. dy dx is equal to dy d theta divided by dx d theta. So all we have to do is find dy d theta and dx d theta and plug them into the formula. So let's find dy d theta first. So dy d theta. Now when we take this derivative, uh, you really want to think of cosine as cosine theta quantity squared. So you have to use the chain rule. You bring the two downstairs. So you get two cosine theta to the first power, I won't write it, times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function here is cosine, so the derivative is negative sine. So this is equal to negative two cosine theta sine theta. dx d theta, same thing, we want to think of the sine function here as being the sine function quantity squared. So we bring the two downstairs, we don't touch the inside, so we get two sine theta times the derivative of the inside, which is cosine. All right, now we have dy d theta, we have dx d theta. Let's go ahead and plug everything into the formula. So dy d theta is negative two cosine theta sine theta divided by dx d theta, which is two sine theta cosine theta. And it looks like everything cancels. Uh, the sines cancel, the cosines cancels, uh, the twos cancel, so we end up with negative one. So that is the answer. There is another way to do this problem, so let me squeeze it in here. Solution two. You'll notice that sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. Well, sine squared was x, so x plus cosine squared, that was y, and that's equal to one. So if we subtract x from both sides, we end up with y equals one minus x. And so now when we take the derivative, dy dx, well, the derivative of one is zero and the derivative of negative x is negative one. Pretty uh, easy. Now that doesn't always work, but um, uh, I, th I thought it was worth going over. So that's it.